Hey everyone, I'm not really sure what to call today's Halloween look, but here's the inspiration behind it. I also just had to show you this necklace because I'm obsessed. For my base, I used the Too Faced Hangover Primer and the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC15, followed by the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I blended that all in with the Flawless Face Sponge by Exo Beauty, then filled in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Auburn, which isn't my usual brow color, but for this look I wanted it to be a little more intense and more red. Back in with concealer to clean up that brow and you are done. That difference though. I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder to set the rest of my face as well as around my eyes. I'm gonna take the really pink shade of the Morphe 9B palette to bronze up my face, placing it just like I would any bronzer that's not pink. Then I took a mixture of the pink and red to do a blush color, then went back in with the pink to bronze up my forehead Using the Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to take a mixture of all of the different purples and use that to further contour my face and just bring the purple aspect into the look. Going back in with the RCMA No Color Powder, I'm just going to use that to bake underneath my contour just to clean it up a little bit. I'm taking some neutral shades from the 35N palette and just creating a transition shade all around my eyes, which are those right there. And now I'm gonna take purple and just build that up into the crease. I decided to take that purple a little bit onto the outer V of the eyelid and then a little bit down below on the lower lash line as well. I lightly dusted off the bake and then realized I forgot to set my eyebrows. So I went ahead and did that with the usual brow stylist plumper. Now I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in the color brown. It's a felt tip eyeliner pen. This is actually my first time using it and it actually made winged liner pretty decently easy for me, thank goodness, because I'm usually really, really bad at it. I knew I wanted some glam sparkly eyes, so I decided to use all four of my infallible metal foil eyeshadows, whatever they're called. I'm starting with Amber Rush in the middle. I'm gonna take Bronze Taupe on the outer third of the eyelid. I'm taking Eternal Sunshine to do on the inner third corner of the lid, as well as down below, and then Iced Latte on my inner corner. And finally, just blending that out with a chocolate brown color. Today I'm using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara in Black Brown. My favorite highlights are in the Carly Bible palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the two and pretty much put that all over my face. Face paint time. I wasn't sure what color I wanted the lips yet, so I just started out with a light pink, knowing that I could just put any darker color on top of it and it would be fine. So I'm just going to start out by making the mouth shape, a straight line across the lip, and then a curved line, obviously, at the bottom to make it into a mouth. I decided to just put a little point meeting the top of my lips just to make it a little more like a lip shape. There's like four different color changes in this video, so I'm sorry about that, but I couldn't make up my mind. Next, I just marked in all of the little creepy crooked teeth with white face paint and then filled them all in. Then I just filled in the giant mouth gap with black face paint.
As I went, I made little notches in the teeth with the black just to give them a broken, creepier look. Now I'm taking the deep plum purple shades to make some gnarly under eye bags. Now you can leave it on the more subtle side like this or you can just put some more purple and just deepen it as much as you want. Just make sure you blend, blend, blend. As I was blending, I just kind of pulled some down on my nose too to do a little bit of nose contouring to just pull the whole face together. For the tears, I mixed a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple face paint to get this color. I decided to do three on each side. This side got a little more squiggly than the other one, but oh well. I wasn't crazy about the color, so I topped it with some purple just to give it a little more dimension, tied in with the look a little bit better. I found these purple eyelashes and I was gonna throw them on, but decided they didn't really match the look as well as I wanted them to, so I decided to leave them out. And I ended up topping the lips with red just because I felt like it would look a little bit creepier. And then I put some yellow and orange eyeshadow on the teeth just to dirty them up a little bit, added some highlights to the tears, and that is basically it for the makeup. I wanted to show you guys how I would do my hair if I was wearing this face paint out for Halloween. So I'm starting with a texture spray because my hair is very fine. It doesn't like to hold volume or texture. Taking my goody teasing brush and teasing comb, I'm just going to back comb my hair until it looks wild and crazy. For some added volume and texture, I went in with the Hot Tools curling iron, just wrapped some random pieces of small strands of hair, only held it on there for a couple seconds because I wasn't going for curly, I'm just going for texture, so I just randomly did that all over my head. Lastly, I went in with a teasing comb and just intensely teased my hair, made it as big and wild as I wanted. And that is going to complete your look. Since this wasn't based on anything specific, I feel like it's pretty adaptable. You could use it as a creepy psycho tooth fairy or a cannibal or a version of a titan, which is kind of what the mouth was inspired by. Let me know what you would pair this face paint with if you were to wear this for Halloween. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more Halloween tutorials. Bye everyone!